Hi, welcome back to me site. <laughs> I've been waiting two days to get going here. Very early in the morning I am. I'm not normally up at this time. But, uh, oh, I'm keen to get going. I've spent the last couple of days uh, tracing out all the footpaths over here. And, oh, I've got a full lunch and tea and I'm going to be here all day. <laughs> Till my leg falls off. So, let's get to it. Right, I'm going to do the footpaths first. Well, the footpath goes from here, straight down there, around that house, over there, and right onto a, an old footpath that runs the entire length of the valley, down over the other side of the river. Supposed to be some stepping stones down there, so I can cross the river, but <laughs> who knows. Well, I've got nothing yet, but hey look, there's a clapper bridge there, over, over the beck. Yeah, not too bad. Oh, I'm flogging a dead horse there. I couldn't get across the river. So I'll come along there and round here and back here. And <laughs> the first decent signal I've had. And it's a coin ball. Hopefully a coin ball. Oh, yes. Or is it? What are you? Oh, yes, yes, yes. George. Good old George 31806. <laughs> oh well, I got a coin. Huh, good one. Half penny. I can actually see a head on that, look, George 3. Uh, oh, that'll brillo up very nice. Uh, about 1775. But why? <laughs> why are they here? That's the question. Ah, Bunhead, Victoria, 18... I think that's 83. Just randomly scattered in the field. Well, it cracks like a duck and it walks like a duck. <laughs> Looks like a coin ball, sounds like a coin ball. That's four coins, randomly scattered. <laughs> Lead. I'm thinking, oh look, wheel off a car, and I'm thinking, no, no, no. It's a spindle wall. I've never seen one that's completely flat. They usually the they're, they're leveled out a bit, narrowed off. Hey, every little beastie. Oh. Now that's what I call uh, a hammered. Look at you, boy. Oh, oh you're nice. Uh, Charles first. Again, sixpence look. Oh, nice. My goodness. Down here, eh? <laughs> Would never have thought it. Blummy neck. Two off here now. Whoa! Hello, Charlie. <laughs> now you've got to be an ear tag off a cow. Yes, indeed. Another bronze uh, bunhead, Vicky. Can't just can't get the date. Uh, they're going to fall apart. Are these? They're not in good condition at all. Oh, lead washer. That got me going. <laughs> Our Victorian halfpenny. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to save that field for, for another trip. I'm getting back on doing the footpath from here across to there. Just the other side of that wall is going to be oh, interesting. Up. I think that's an 1806 George 3. Doing well for coins. That's what I'm looking for. There was no sign of it on the other side of the wall. It's the style. Now it's going to go from there over there. So I'll just do a straight line across. 1944, Threepney bit, 12 sided, thrift plant. Yes, George 6. When the sun comes out, it's absolutely gorgeous, lovely. But there's all these clouds 
a round line. When they come over, God, it gets cold. I thought that was another Victorian, but it's Edward Seven, uh, 1910. I'm on a path here, footpath, heading up there actually. Uh, so it looks like somebody's been sat on here and lost a, <laughs> a bronze half penny, George V. I'll have a sit there and have my lunch. So I, I had my bite of lunch. <laughs> got up and I went over this hole again out of habit when I found the half penny. And I think we've got. We've got a, yeah, George V bronze penny to go with it. Huh, good one. Well, I don't know what you are. I'm just going to put you down as a relic. <laughs> hmm. Oh, good one. Tiny little silver coin. 1889. Uh, Widowhead Victoria look. Is it a widow? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not up on coins. Give me Russian lead <laughs> seals and I'll tell you what they are, but coins, I'm not that up on. Uh, oh, two silvers for today. Good one. Oh, not the silver. Uh, Bunhead Victoria, 1840. I got it there. Right in the middle of all that shite. <laughs> Footpaths coming along here. And, uh, just picked up two silvers on this footpath. Good one. Very worn, uh, bonehead penny. Very worn. Whoa. Another half penny there, very worn. 1700 and something. Oh, that had me going. Pewter button. Thought it was silver. Well, that's an old, old pendant. Uh, I'm not sure what you are, matey, but you'll clean up. Well, don't know what you are. You're too small for a half penny, and you're too big for a for a farthing, and you're too thick. Yeah, uh, another 1700s half penny. I'm just stopping for a bit more lunch. I'm a bit disappointed with these old buildings here and the barn. So I've had two cruddy coins. <laughs> uh. Those farm buildings were a big disappointment. <laughs> As is this deck, there is no way to cross it. <laughs> I had to use a, a road a mile down the river to cross it, and then this one to cross it at the top. And it's on a really busy main road. And they're coming within a couple of feet of me, these cars. Well, I've come back to the car, I've had a little sleep. <laughs> Normally I don't get here till this time, two o'clock. <laughs> uh, I think I'll have another walk down, um, going to some fields I haven't been in yet, See, just see what I can get. Well, that's either a hammered copper or a jetton. Not a button. Hey, nice buckle. Oh, 1959, Elizabeth II, ship half penny. Hey, another spindle wall. One of the uh, more regular types. I don't do iron, but that's, that's at the end of the golf club, isn't it? It's a golfing iron. Okie dokie, that's my lot for today. I've flattened my battery. <laughs> Just giving me a no coil reading. Hey, had a good day. I am absolutely cream crackered. <laughs> oh dear. I might be off for a week. <laughs> I'll see you at the roundup. Had a really good day. Hello, welcome to the roundup. Go 
God, I'm knackered. <laughs> Overdid it today. Oh, Overdid it so much I ran my battery fat in the coil. <laughs> but had a very good hunt. Oh, where do I start? Let's start along the top. Buttons. <laughs> now there's me on about getting all these uh, pewter buttons yesterday. Or last time I was out. And now I'm getting the copper ones. The bronze ones. Oh, dear me. This is definitely an ear tag of a cow. <laughs> Number YQ459. That goes through its ear. Blunk. And the 168 is easily visible. This. I don't know what you are. It's got a piece of iron through it, look. In the middle there. It looks like it's broke and it's part of something, but I don't know what you are. Now, you are definitely uh, a spindle whirl. Definitely. I think this is as well, but it's a different... Uh, I've never seen one that, that isn't oval like that, you know? Um, but what the heck, I suppose they should be. Very goodly. Nice buckle. It was silvered, look. You can see the silver underneath there. Definitely had silver on it at one time. I don't know what this is. this <laughs> is it a huge pendant or does it go that way and see the hole there is there a hole on this side missing is it missing and it's part of a decoration of of something uh, a boss but it's heavy and it's uh, copper yes well, let's get, uh, <laughs> apart from this little bit of lead, let's get straight on to the coins. I got, uh, hang on, I count them up. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty coins. That makes a difference. And no lead seals. <laughs> oh, dear me. It was a holiday for me today. It was, it was different. But all the planning that I did, um, <laughs> it just went went out the board. <laughs> I, I went down the footpath, tried to cross the river, couldn't cross the river. Had to walk up the river, still couldn't cross the river, so I thought, I'm going to have to go back. So I started going back, and then I reached another fence, and I couldn't get over that, so I had to turn left and go back to where I started. But just as I was getting back to where I started, I stumbled on uh, that coin. And then these, 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 these. And then, of course, the hammered. Boom. So all the planning to get this, <laughs> I got it. Somebody else shoved me onto it. It wasn't me. <laughs> My plan went, oh, didn't work. <laughs> right, let's see. 1959 ship half penny 44 thrift threepenny bit uh, these these are all 19 10 20s vicky's pretty grot condition in fact that one's really gone and then onto the copper they're all bronzes interesting i'm, I'm not used to having uh, such an age with the coins. These are 1806s, half pennies, George III. Look at that little bit of Brillo. Three bit exactly the same. Brillo hasn't worked on two of them, but it worked on the third. Look, and it brought up George the Third. There you are, with his big nose. And Britannia, you can just see on the back there. And we're looking at 1775-ish, something like that. Then, a couple of ones that I'm not used to getting at all. Uh, the thick, 
they're too thick and the only person I can think of who looks like that is George the first and I'm not used to getting George the first but I'm not used to getting thick coins like these that's just that's just flaws in the copper is that but these are about 17 19 20 ish these two um, not used to that going back some then got what was ah it's it's definitely something look um, but what it's either a gaming token a jetton or it's a hammered copper one of these half penny copper thingies at 1600 and odd and then well let's have a bit of silver <laughs> oh, I like little threepenny bits coming out at depth in 18 kilohertz shouldn't be done but it it's coming look at that I still got half the field on my thumb 1839 nice one Jubilee crown that isn't it um, here's me saying widow Ed it isn't it's Jubilee crown yes indeed now bun head I used to call these young heads but it's not correct I believe this is a bun head um, 1840 How's it going back some? There we go Let's get you right I'm taking my time with these because I take the pictures from the video And piece de resistance of course <laughs> Is Our Charlie Let me get him so he's get some nice shadows on it Ooh. Charles first sixpence I'm not sure of the year on this it, it's not like the one I got last hunt um, it, it's different sixpence but the last one was 1636-38 uh, so this is some, somewhere around that um, I've got to yell out to the old coinage Britannia to identify it, but he hasn't got back to me. He must be on holiday. What I did notice with this, look, that's the correct way up. There. Look, 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 look. And you should turn it like that, but it's at 90 degrees, so weird. But <laughs> I'm getting my hand in for hammered. <laughs> Told you there isn't any around where I live, so but I'm not around where I live. <laughs> nice one. I think that's the best picture of Charles I've had. Uh, what have I now? I've had three sixpences, uh, most grotty um, portraits, but that laddie, he's quite something. Anyway, enough of this gloating over my uh, hammered silver. Brilliant day out. <laughs> he flattened me battery. <laughs> oh dear. It's a good job because I was dropping. <laughs> Halfway through the hunt I nipped back to the car for a quick sleep. I'm not used to getting up that early in the morning. <laughs> anyway, look, it's out there. Just go get it. Till I see you next time, you take care, bye.